Hello guys, welcome to the movie recap review. Happy watching. The film begins in Italy, where the American Dalton family, Ben, Louise, and their 11-year-old daughter Agnes, are on vacation at a resort. Despite the picturesque setting, Ben and Louise struggle to fully enjoy their time, finding themselves stuck in dull conversations with a Danish couple they don't particularly like. Meanwhile, Agnes, who still depends on her beloved stuffed rabbit, Hoppy, for comfort, panics when she loses it. Her distress is alleviated when the toy is returned by a charming British couple, Patty and Sierra Felt, accompanied by their mute son, Ant. The Felts strike up an instant rapport with the Daltons, and the two families bond over lunch. During the meal, Ben explains that they've recently moved to London for his job, and Louise shares that she left her own career behind for the move. Patty warmly invites the Daltons to visit his and Ciara's country estate, setting the stage for what's to come. After returning to London, Ben confides in Louise about his disappointment over missing out on a job deal he had been counting on. He also shares his worries about Agnes, particularly her reliance on her stuffed rabbit, and his hopes that she can learn to move on. As they sort through their mail, they discover a postcard from Patty and Ciara, inviting them once again to visit. Despite Louise's initial reservations about spending time with people they barely know, she and Ben eventually warm to the idea. The Daltons arrive at the Feltz estate just in time for dinner. Patty proudly presents a goose he has prepared, offering some to Louise, who had previously mentioned her vegetarianism. In an effort to be polite, Louise takes a bite, but quickly spits it out when she thinks no one is looking. Meanwhile, when Ben steps outside to take out the trash, he's followed by Ant, who tries to show him his cut tongue. As the adults continue their evening together, Ant and Agnes settle down in the same room for the night. Louise hears Ant crying out in his sleep, when she expresses concern to Patty and Sierra, they reassure her that he tends to get over it quickly, and sure enough, he eventually calms down. The following day, both families embark on a hike through the woods. While exploring, Agnes spots a swing set and attempts to use it, prompting Patty to abruptly move Aunt aside to make space for her. Afterward, Patty suggests they all take a dip in a nearby lake to alleviate Louise's neck pain. Louise begins to voice her discomfort to Ben, but Ciara interjects, inviting them to dinner at a nearby restaurant while they have their babysitter, Muchid, watch Aunt and Agnes. During dinner, Patty and Ciara talk about their active, intimate activities. Louise, trying to be open, casually mentions that she and Ben haven't been intimate as often lately, which visibly discomforts him. The couple playfully teases the Daltons, pretending to engage in intimate acts beneath the table. Meanwhile, Aunt leads Agnes to a bedroom, revealing a drawer filled with a collection of watches. One watch catches Agnes's eye, inscribed with a Danish phrase and another man's name. Aunt and son keeping quiet, fearing that Mujid will find them. The two had tricked him into playing hide-and-seek. Aunt then shows Agnes his torso, revealing bruises and scars that hint at a troubled past. Later that night, Ben expresses his annoyance to Louise about her earlier comments to Patty and Ciara, revealing his discomfort about having seen another man's private photo on her phone. They discuss their feelings, ultimately embracing to resolve their tension, unaware that Patty is secretly watching them. In the middle of the night, Louise wakes up and decides to check on Agnes, only to discover that both children are missing. She frantically searches the house until she finds Agnes peacefully sleeping in bed with Ciara. Worried, she gently wakes her daughter and brings her back to their own room. Louise tells Ben that Agnes sleeping in Patty and Ciara's room was the final straw, and they need to leave immediately. The Daltons quietly pack up and attempt to sneak out before Patty and Ciara wake up. However, on the road, Agnes starts panicking because they left Hoppy behind. Ben tries to convince her to move on, but she kicks his seat, almost causing them to crash into a truck. Reluctantly, Ben turns back to retrieve the stuffed rabbit. When they return, Patty and Ciara are already awake and seem hurt that the Daltons tried to leave without saying goodbye. Louise admits she was upset about what she saw the previous night, 
Ciara apologizes, explaining she has strong maternal instincts because they once had another daughter, Mary, who they lost. Feeling sympathetic, the Daltons apologize for trying to leave. Later, Patty invites Ben to join him on a fox hunt, while Louise and Ciara stay behind with the kids. Aunt tries to write a message to Agnes, but since it's in Danish, she can't read it. Before Ciara can notice, Aunt eats the note. Meanwhile, out in the woods, after Ben fails to shoot a fox, Patty takes him to a secluded area where they both let out cathartic, primal screams. The families sit down for lunch together, but tensions rise when Ciara begins making critical comments about the way Agnes is eating. Louise, visibly upset, responds defensively. Though Ciara apologizes, Patty chimes in, suggesting that Louise should apologize as well. The tension lingers as Agnes and Aunt excitedly attempt to showcase a dance they've been practicing to the tune of Cotton-Eyed Joe. However, Patty harshly criticizes Aunt's dancing, which frightens Agnes. Later, while Patty naps, Aunt takes the opportunity to swipe his keys and leads Agnes to the barn, revealing a hidden basement beneath it. Inside, Aunt shows her a disturbing book filled with photos of families Patty and Ciara have encountered. Each picture shows Patty and Ciara with an unhappy child, next to another couple with their own child. In the following picture, the child from the previous family appears as the newest addition to Patty and Ciara's family. Aunt gestures to explain that Patty and Ciara cut out his tongue and plan to make Agnes their next child after killing her parents, just like they did to his family. Agnes, horrified, takes pictures of the evidence on her phone and rushes to show Louise. Meanwhile, Patty wakes from his nap, and though Aunt tries to sneak the keys back, Patty notices that the basement latch is slightly exposed, realizing something is wrong. After Ben and Louise discover the truth, they try to remain calm and make up an excuse to leave. They tell Patty and Ciara that Agnes has started first period and needs to go home. As they prepare to leave, they notice a flat tire. Patty offers to change it, and just as they're about to go, Agnes realizes that Hoppy is missing again. Patty points out that the doll is stuck in the gutters, so Ben climbs a ladder to retrieve it. However, Hoppy has been shredded, but Agnes, determined to leave, doesn't care. As they try to convince Ant to open the gate so he can escape with them, Patty unlocks it with his keys instead. As they begin to drive away, Agnes suddenly sees Patty throwing Ant into the lake. Ben rushes to save the boy, while Louise tries to drive away with Agnes, but Patty quickly shuts the gate. Though Ben rescues Aunt, Patty and Ciara now have Louise and Agnes held at gunpoint. Patty and Ciara force the Daltons to hand over their money before Patty tries to knock Agnes out with ketamine. In a desperate move, Louise uses a hidden box cutter to slash Patty's face and wrestles the rifle away from Ciara. Ben frees himself, Agnes, and Aunt, and the family makes a run for it. Just as they're escaping, Patty and Ciara's accomplice, Mike, arrives and starts shooting at them forcing the Daltons to flee back into the house to hide. The villains begin hunting the family, forcing Ben and Louise to hide the kids and barricade themselves in a bedroom. Desperate to attract attention, Ben tries to use one of Patty's liquor bottles to set the barn on fire, but he accidentally drops it on Patty's car instead. Mike, armed with a gun, shoots at them and tries to break into the house. In a brutal struggle, Ben attempts to kill Mike with a hammer, but Mike nearly overpowers him, smashing Ben's head against broken glass. At the last moment, Louise grabs the hammer and drives it into Mike's head, killing him. When Patty charges at them, Louise quickly sprays drain cleaner in his face, severely burning him. Ciara rushes to tend to Patty, giving the family a brief chance to escape. The Daltons head to the roof and begin climbing down a ladder to escape. Ciara catches up to them, but Louise hits her over the head sending Ciara tumbling off the roof to her death. The impact also knocks the ladder down. Ben climbs down and injures his leg, but manages to retrieve the ladder so Louise, Agnes, and Aunt can safely descend. Just as they think they're in the clear, Patty appears and grabs Agnes, holding her at gunpoint. With Ciara gone, he declares that he will take Agnes as his new child, threatening to kill her parents. In a moment of courage, Agnes stabs Patty in the abdomen with the ketamine needle, incapacitating him. Before they leave, Ant picks up a large brick. Patty, barely conscious, expresses pride in Ant, but the boy, filled with rage, smashes Patty's skull with the brick, finally ending the nightmare.
Ben and Louise gather Aunt and Agnes into the car and drive away from the estate for good. As they escape, Agnes offers Hoppy to Aunt, hoping to comfort him after the ordeal. And that's the end of the story. I hope you liked it. Comment down below what movies do you like us to recap next. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.